too lazy to dislike each other efficiently or permanently. They are, however, getting there. He rages at her smug, smiling silence, a striptease of slow discovery that his words are meaningless, and it turns out that no matter the anguish, disdain and anger are not aphrodisiacs. Those barometric moans of, oh God, I'm coming, I'm coming, are now threats of, you hear me, I'm leaving. Fifty shades of black and blue are not the purple ties that bind her to him. She has forgiven much, and he never let him forget what she has forgiven. And he puzzles of how, over how love sours and gradually curdles into hate, or even worse, indifference, as they've really simplified things and gone from mutual desire to lingering ire. conversation, we dance like the box step, the stiff foxtrot at, junior high school, at a junior high school social, and never quite know who's leading or who stepped on whose foot or whose toes first. You don't let me finish what I'm saying by saying you know what I'm going to say. So I'm redundant in preamble, stubborn in repeating my endless beginnings. Stymie. For an instant mute, I scream at you, over you, past you, who have not understood my silence. I know you will not understand my words. Now you're insignificant, other. I know you believe you understand what you think I shouted, but the meanness you heard was not what I meant. Inspired by our president. Uh, it's called Life Measured in 140 Characters. <clears throat> no longer measured in coffee spoons, our lives distilled into 140 characters are forever documented, a record from our first breath to our last. Every man, Jack or Johnson, of us is his own Boswell busy recording every mo movement, from the mundane to the musical to the digestive. Do my 679 friends really care about what I wore to the concert or that I suffered through it with a case of intestinal flu? What's more, will they care 10 years from now? 20. Twitter stenography is permanent. The mundane shorthand for the profound, the internet more constant than the stars.